But you know what amazes me? Well, there's two things you said that amaze me. One discouraged me tremendously. Um, one, you found it very heartening to read a book that didn't challenge your beliefs. Well, that was the worst thing you can say about a book, I think. Um, in science, every day we challenge our beliefs. That's how science works. Most people think science works the other way around. But in fact, what you want to do when you come into work every day if you're a scientist is you want to prove all your colleagues are wrong. Because that's the way you get famous. And, um, and in fact, the key thing, as Richard Feynman, who I wrote another book about and I've lectured here in Canberra about, would say that, you know, the, the, what you try and do if you have an idea, if you're a scientist, is you have a theory and you try and prove it right, but you try and prove it wrong. You try to spend more time proving it wrong. Because, the, first of all, the easiest person to fool is yourself. It's easy, you know, if you, we all think things happen to us are significant, and Feynman used to go around and say, you won't believe what happened to me today, you just won't believe what happened to me. And people would say, what? And he'd say, absolutely nothing. And, uh, and because we all believe when something happens to us, it's significant. It has some cosmic significance. Um, you know, you can have a hundred, a thousand dreams over many nights, they're nonsense, but you dream one night that a friend of yours is going to break their leg, and the next day they break their arm, and you say, cosmic. You don't realize accidents happen. And so we have to, we have to challenge our beliefs every single day. That's what science is all about. There are no scientific ideologies. And in fact, science, the th reason science had progressed and theology hasn't, the reason we have video cameras and lights and, and medicine and make our lives and we can feed more people and live longer, healthier lives is because science changes. The great thing about science is there are no unshakable truths. We force what we, and we don't even believe anything. We force the way we view reality to depend upon the evidence of reality. So if you don't challenge your beliefs, you're never learning. You're never questioning yourself. And so I hope that every student who ever goes to university at one point in their life has the opportunity to have something that is at the heart of their being, something so central to their being that if they lose it, they won't feel they're human anymore, to be proved wrong. Because that's the liberation that science provides. The realization that to assume the truth, to assume the answer before you ask the questions, leads you nowhere. And that's why, that's why science has led to a modern world where in fact we can make progress.